NASCAR enters its second half of the season. NBC took over, which was a really big breath of fresh air. And Ross Chastain returned to the driver. We all remember, but with a new tune. Wins gonna punch his ticket to the championship four. Got him this time. Oh, he turned it. No. Big room. Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt. There's another seven-time champ. Heard by Legato. Maybe no. Kenza takes him out. Look, using lessons learned from his father to go from sixth to first and score the victory in the Pepsi 400. 20 years of trying. 20 years of frustration. He flags in the air. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Cameron Simpson. Hopefully you are all having a great day. Um, and welcome in. We're talking about NASCAR at Nashville. Ross Chastain goes to Victory Lane. Big congratulations to Ross on getting there, on getting to Victory Lane. It was a big accomplishment for him. Uh, he's been running the season mostly in the back of the pack uh, after Darlington. And we all know what happened in Darlington the conversation with Justin Marks because Rick Hendrick got angry. And a lot of people were left to speculate what that conversation was about. What was Ross Chastain talking to Justin Marks about? What were they discussing? Was it anything of actual substance? And a lot of people went to speculation that they were told that Ross needs to change his ways. Ross is, needs to stop. And I don't agree with that. I don't think that was it at all. I think it was more of a conversation between two people about the future uh, of what they need to do because they were getting criticized. And I think Ross Chassain made the mistake of listening to our criticism. Because did he deserve it? 100%. But I think he evolved through it. I think it made him a better race car driver. Because now he's running up front. He ran a complete race today with a little bit of aggression when he made that three wide pass on lap traffic and a little bit of motivation um, to get that win. And a little more of a cool head he was able to race with a little bit more of a calm and collective mind. He didn't need to wreck the leader to win the race. He didn't need to wreck himself to make a point. He didn't need to worry about any of that. All he did was worry about running up front and trying to win this race in the best way that he could. And he did end up pulling off this win, which is a big accomplishment for Ross, big accomplishment for his team, all of that. Huge accomplishments. The other thing that I noticed from this weekend was the fans. They were very supportive of Ross. I thought, well, Ross Chastain's going to win this race. There's going to be a lot of booing. There's going to be a lot of heckling from the TV screen, at least. It sounded like the fans were in support of Ross Chastain, which is a big deal for Ross. Because, like I said, he's been criticized left and right. And maybe they didn't really need to criticize him. Maybe they didn't even care as much as we all thought they cared. That's what it seemed like to me today. It seemed like they didn't, they, the fans didn't care as much as people were talking. And Ross Chastain put a good race together. It was his first poll, and it was also the first poll for uh, track house racing. This is how much of a perfect race he put together. He led uh, a lot of laps and was able to push himself to victory lane. All in all, to me... That is a good effort. That is a good effort. That is a team worthy of winning the championship. Do I throw Ross Chastain in the championship mix? No. Not even close yet. I think your drivers in the championship mix are Byron Bush and Larson. But at that point, those are your three drivers in the championship race, in my opinion. Um, I don't think there are many other drivers at that point that we are at. I don't think that's the case, but I could also be wrong. I think it's more of Kyle Busch, uh, Larson, and Byron, who are in that championship tier. But can we put another driver close to the championship tier? I don't see why not. Can we put a driver in the mix for a championship tier? Of course we can. He's becoming a driver threat. And if he keeps racing like this, I can see him winning maybe two more races. He's good at the road course. He's decent at the super speedways, but he needs to keep a cool head. And it did not affect him. Going through lap traffic today as a leader, Noah Graxon cut right in front of Ross Chastain. Made it so difficult for him to make that pass. And you know what? I am all for that. I am all for that. There's nothing wrong. They didn't wreck him, didn't spin him, didn't cause something. Some of you might think it's race manipulation. 
I only really think that's race manipulation when you're doing it to help your teammate out. When it says in a revenge thing, I'm all for it. All right, if you're gonna park a guy by making him slow up, make him lose stage points, where it hits him most, that to me is a retaliation thing. That is fine, I don't mind it. What I do mind is when teammates do that, but that wasn't the case today. The other major storyline before we get to the finishing results was the safer barrier thing. Uh, the 12 car had a major hit. Oh, I think we're all going to hold our breath when we look at NASCAR news this week to make sure that he's okay and didn't get injured in any way. I think we'll all be monitoring the news networks for that. But it was a great job by him and his team. They, they were a tier above everyone else. They did a good job today by the 12 team running up front. And then all of a sudden, a big stack up in the middle of the pack brought him back, and the 12 car went right into the wall. Hard hit. Uh, the car was completely damaged. They haven't fixed that area of the car yet where it's supposed to soften the, the contact. They haven't fixed that yet. And it was a very hard hit. And there's no doubt about it. It was a hard hit that he took. Because what are you supposed to do in that instance? There was no avoiding that wall. There was no safer barrier on that wall. And I can't believe we're talking about a safer barrier in a NASCAR track. I'm sure they'll have it next year, but they need it. They need a safer barrier. If you don't have a safer barrier, you're just done. You need a safer barrier, and um, I hope that they will get that all sorted out. Now, let's look at the finishing results from today's race. First off, foremost, we talked about him. Ross Chastain goes to victory lane. Big win for him and his team. Uh, in second place was Martin Truex Jr., he had a solid car all day, just not enough at the end of the race to get to Chastain. Denny Hamlin finished third in today's race, another solid run for him. Chase Elliott top five, but really needs that win. I think that's the story with him. Uh, Kyle Larson, good comeback day, just didn't have the setup, really lead front all day, but figured it out at the end. He finished his fifth. William Byron in sixth place today. Christopher Bell finished seventh. Eric Jones with a solid top ten in today's race. Kyle Busch had a heck of a day. First couple laps, blew the back tire, then sped on pit road, which is becoming way too common for him. Uh, he sped on pit road. Then he, um, then he crashed because the whole stack up thing with Ryan Blaney, he got involved in that. Still a driver, able to finish ninth place. That's a championship caliber team, if you ask me. Facing adversity and still finishing in the top 10. Uh, AJ Allmendinger with the top 10 as well. Brad Keselowski finishes 11th. Daniel Suarez in 12th. Austin Dillon, really solid run for RCR this week. He finishes 13th. Ty Gibbs in 14th. And Bubba Wallace, who had a car that looked like could be in contention of the win. Just a tough day again. Ends up finishing 15th. Uh, those are your top 15. Let's now talk about NASCAR on NBC. What a breath of fresh air, I will tell you. NBC, still a little bit of commercials, maybe a little too much, but they had side-by-side -side action for mostly the entire last 60 laps, which was very nice. Um, I, they weren't as disruptive as Fox's commercials. I think they gave us a little more time in between and, and then cut to commercial, which was very nice. Um, the mid-pack battles were very much a showcase. It wasn't just all about the leaders. It was also about the mid-pack battles. The broadcasters brought a good insight into it. We got stories. They were good at telling the stories. Rick Allen was good at letting everything kind of flow the way it needed to flow. I enjoyed this broadcast. I enjoy NASCAR and NBC. The post-race coverage was awesome. The pre-race coverage was awesome. Both on-site makes it seem like an event. This is something that Fox should take notes on. Is there things that can be approved? Yes, there's a couple audio issues in the beginning of the broadcast. They fixed them up. Um, but besides that, I mean, one thing I wish, wish that both sides did was have more team communications. Let's bring more communication from drivers to teams into a broadcast. I wish we implemented that more. Right now they don't, but I feel as if that should be implemented way more than it is. Um, it was a little more today with NBC, but it needs to be implemented even more than that. So NASCAR and NBC back. We'll continue to talk about how they're doing uh, for the next couple weeks. But all in all, it's great to have them back. It really is. With that, let's put this race on hit the gas or hit the brakes. Uh, this race was eh at best. I thought that the second stage was kind of a downer. A lot of people like this track. And I thought this track was going to be good because of its slipping and sliding, but 
once it turns into a night race, that element is gone. There's no slipping nor sliding. So uh, that that element of the game, that of the race, excuse me, is over. I I don't know. I enjoyed the race. Sure, of course I did. I don't know who didn't, but. I didn't enjoy the constant just running in the front. You know, it was tough. It was it was tough in the front of the pack. Passing was there. The mid pack battles. NBC did a good job, so I'm gonna hit the gas. I'm gonna give it a lower score than I think a lot of you are going to. I'm gonna give it a C plus, but that's just me. Thank you all for tuning into this race. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, all that, share it. The camera quality is really weird from what I'm seeing, um, so we gotta fix that up. But until the next time, I'm Cameron Simpson. Peace out.